Hi everyone. This video I thought would be really interesting because I'm going to compare two stocks in different industries. I'm going to answer the question which one is the better buy, SoFi Technology stock or Microsoft stock. Not only are they in different industries, but they're also at different scale, right? Uh, Microsoft is a very large scale company. SoFi is a smaller company, so the comparisons are not really going to be oranges to oranges, but just bear with me and let's do this interesting experiment and let's, let's figure out which is the better one to invest in. The first thing I'm going to look at is the price change in 2022. Microsoft stocks held up relatively well, going down only 28.7%, while SoFi Technology stock was down 71% as the less proven, unprofitable growth stocks took a bigger beating in 2022 compared to the more proven, positive cash flow, positive profit companies like Microsoft did. Next, let's compare them on quarterly revenue. And again, this highlights the scale differential. In its most recent quarter, Microsoft delivered 50 billion in revenue, but SoFi Technologies only 424 million in revenue. However, if you look at growth, revenue growth, SoFi is growing faster than Microsoft is. So if SoFi can continue at this pace, then it will only be a matter of time until it surpasses Microsoft, although it would need to keep this pace up for a very long time, five, 10, maybe 15 years to catch up to Microsoft because Microsoft's already at 50 billion. Uh, SoFi is only a fraction of that pace, but the growth is impressive for SoFi Technologies. Next, let's look at net income, net profitability and Microsoft has done an excellent job boosting profits. You see here, 2014, less than $8 billion in net income in, in the quarter. In its most recent quarter, more than doubled that, $17.56 billion. That's impressive to be able to grow your profits that much if you're at that scale already. And SoFi is yet to deliver uh, net income consistently on the bottom line, losing $74 million in its most recent quarter. Next, let's look at cash flow from operations. Again, Microsoft showing impressive growth, more than doubling its cash flow from operations in the trailing 12 months from less than 12 from less than 40 billion to 87.7 billion. Meanwhile, SoFi has down 6 billion in the trailing 12 months. This comes with a little asterisks on it. SoFi had to send over billions of dollars when it got its bank charter. So that comes out as a negative cash flow from operations. Doesn't really speak to that amount of money the company is losing every uh, 12 months. It's just a one-time thing that it had to transfer over billions of dollars to its bank and going forward. Yes, it might still be negative in terms of cash flow from operations, but it's not going to lose. It's not likely to lose six billion every year in cash flow from operations. Finally, let's look at the two compared to in valuation. So since SoFi Technologies uh, does not is not profitable on the bottom line, you see here on the bottom when I'm comparing the two based on the price to earnings ratio going forward, SoFi is a blank here. Doesn't even show up because it's not expected to be profitable going forward in the next year. So all we have here is Microsoft trading at a forward PE of 25, which is near the lowest it's been over the last year. However, if we look at the price to sales ratio, SoFi is well below at 3.6 of Microsoft at 8.95. But in my opinion, the premium valuation on Microsoft is justified in this case. And I would say Microsoft is the better stock to buy here because of its proven profitability, its proven increases in cash flow from operations. All of this it has demonstrated over the long term. It has competitive advantages in its business that's going to be hard for uh, other businesses to encroach upon. Meanwhile, SoFi is just now starting to prove itself. It hasn't yet had to defend itself against the more proven bank companies out there 
when they try to encroach on its business is it going to be able to defend itself is it going to be able to sustain this kind of revenue growth how much longer can it do that a lot more to be answered there and so for that reason I would go with Microsoft as the better stock to buy between these two very different companies but if I had to you know if I had a hundred dollars and I was thinking about which one of these two to invest in I would go with Microsoft in this case here all right, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.